Welcome in, podcast pioneers, to the hyperspace. Podcasting in the 25th century, the interwebs first and still only podcast. My name is Matt. I'm Jared. I'm Mike. Guys, it's our Halloween episode. Happy Halloween! I mean, I think we've done what, two of these. We're in like yeah, two we years. Have. I mean, this is pretty exciting stuff. This is, We look forward to this every year, which means we look forward to this for two years now. But that's pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, it's funny. We were, we were talking the other day on the chain about what movies we should we should do. And, you know, the obvious ones come to mind. You know, of course, like Halloween just came out. Uh, there are some good classic scares. But, you know, there, there's one that has kind of come in and out of our discussions that we felt we probably should do. And it's really one of those that are like, we all agree that it's one of our favorites, but nobody really talks about this movie that much. So I thought we'd give it a little love on Halloween. Oh, yes. There's going to be a lot of love here. Beaches with Bette Midler. Yep. 100%. Terrifying. terrifying. Uh, we're, we're talking about Joe Dante's about, the, Joe Dante's the Burbs. Beaches. You have a story about beaches? beaches? Yeah, I do, actually. So do I, but I don't want to tell it. Tell so yours. Really mad. I'll just say that uh, someone I lived with who was considerably younger than me, who shall remain nameless, yes. when he was or she was a small child, watched beaches. Oh, man. And uh, was bawling <laughs> their eyes out when it was over. <laughs> and I was like laughing at this person. And they're like, <laughs> You've totally outed him. You don't laugh at me. You just don't know how sad that movie is. Oh no. Hey dude. Hey dude. When I was in when I was in high school, there was a dollar theater not far, and you know, we get dropped off. And so there was like a group of like eight of us, and we didn't know what was in the theater. We just wanted to get out of the house and get dropped off and watch movies. So it was like four guys, four girls, and of course, being high school, like a freshman or whatever year it was. We're like, yes, great. We're gonna go to the movies. You know, I'm gonna try and sit next to so and so, and and you sit next to so and so, and maybe you know, get a little action. So <laughs> the girls are like, well, let's go see beaches, and we're like, well, we have no idea what beaches is. Beaches could have been anything, and uh, so of course the, the girls were crying all through the movie, and the guys are just like miserable, just miserable, and laughing at them, and as a result, we got no action. So that's great. It's the only time I saw beaches, by the way. <laughs> But that's it. We, we are not talking we, about beaches. We're going to talk about Joe talk? Dante's The Burbs tonight. 1988. And uh, we're going to invite you to watch it with us as we talk about it and uh, celebrate this amazing movie. So uh, what do you guys think? I think we should. Hey, Matt. Yes. Can you explain how our friends at home can listen along with well, our commentary? Absolutely. So we have a digital copy of The Burbs, which I'm sure if you're creative, you can find it as well. And we're gonna zero it out, and I'm gonna count down from five. I'll go five, four, three, two, one. Start. And when I say start, you start it with us, and we'll all enjoy the burbs and watch it together. How's that sound? That right. sounds great, Klopek. Is that Slavic? <clears throat> all right. Uh, so if you guys are ready, I say we celebrate some Halloween and get into uh, some burbs. Let's do it. All right, everybody at home, get your digital copy ready, and we're gonna hit start in five. Four, three, two, one, start. For a minute. <sighs> oh, the universal logo. Yeah. The old style. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> but, but there's something different here. There's no dot com. <clears throat> the music. No. It kind of reminds me of a big trouble in Little China for some reason. Oh, Jerry Goldsmith's score. Absolutely no atmosphere. No. There's no clouds. It's a nope. perfect day in the globe right now, apparently. Look at this. This was like Google Earth before Google Earth was around. It's intense stuff right there. Yeah. They don't know how ahead of their time there was they were on that. This is uh, Imagine's first movie. Their first really? one? Yeah. Yep. Ron Howard's company? Yep. <clears throat> wow. Also, this was... Uh, <laughs> The movie they were shooting this movie right before Big came out. Right. So it was before he became a big star. The Burbs. So they probably never would have got this made with him if they'd tried to do it before Big. Well, yeah, I mean, 
you know, for people who don't know, Tom Hanks began his career as a comedic actor. Oh, yeah. The man with the one red shoe. I mean, that's what he was known for yeah. before he started, you know, winning Oscars and stuff. <laughs> Bruce Stern. Oh, Bruce Stern. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Uh, I'm glad we're doing this. There's our princess. <laughs> so this was happening uh, during a writer's strike. So a lot of this movie and a lot of the dialogue and a lot of the actions uh, were either improvised by the um, by the actors themselves or, uh, or just through weird budget reasons, they kept it the way they did. Well, they also it. shot it. <clears throat> because of that, they shot on chronologically. That way they knew that if somebody said something weird, they wouldn't have to like worry about something that had been shot before. Mm -hmm. They said the universal backlot, by the way. And... Uh, there's a funny story that on the other side of the backlot wall was the Jaws ride at Universal there. And during filming, they would hear in the background, help, help from the ride. It's part of the ride. I remember this. And they say apparently some of it is in the movie, if you listen, <laughs> screaming help in the background. They, they kept some of it. I've never heard it. They also had the Universal tours kept like interrupting the shooting. <laughs> <clears throat> This um, <laughs> it's such a good movie, and this was this was not. I mean, this this made some good money at the box office, but it was it was panned by the critics, and Joe Dante just kind of moved on and said, "All right, well, we'll just make the next movie now." But it turned out, as people over the years have made this a cult classic, have gone up to him and said, "Aside from Gremlins, this is like their favorite Joe Dante movie," which I completely agree with. Yeah, I saw it in the theater and I loved it. I couldn't believe I there's an homage to Exorcist. Um, <laughs> yeah. I saw it in the theater as well. Did you? Oh, but, man, I did not I didn't believe it. that people didn't like it. I actually I mean, have I a... Mean, I do not love this movie. There was a funny story. Um, when me and my friend were at the theater, we saw a girl. I was in seventh grade. A girl that was in seventh grade with me was at the theater as well, seeing the burbs, and we, we all sat together. Mm -hmm. And her boyfriend threatened to kick my ass the next day <laughs> because he thought I went to a movie with his girlfriend. <laughs> maybe that's a true that's a true story and i never forgot it man traumatizing and now look at where you are Mayfield place so the, the lead of the beaver <laughs> house is on the same street here in the back lot i love this moment with tom hanks this yeah, is like this a is really so aggressive good. moment that's kind of out of character for him. <laughs> that's great oh a little trivia here I've told you guys this in the podcast before, but in case you're listening to the first time, that little white dog there, you may recognize from another movie. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. That's Precious from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, in the basket. Oh, in the basket. And then they've got the dog effects in the score right now. <laughs> yeah, that is a little Precious from Silence of the Lambs, which came out not more than, what, two years after this? Yeah, a couple of years later. Oh man, oh, God! He's <laughs> leaving a steamer right there. <laughs> yeah, this is you know yeah. that uh, in this movie, Tom Hanks has a son, and he was resistant to his character having a son. I saw that he didn't want to be typecast as a dad. He thought yeah. he was going to lose roles. He didn't want to be the next Fred McMurray. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy, this guy, Corey Feldman. Man, to hear, uh, oh god, <laughs> to, to hear his stories from the set. This was right before he was completely spiraled out of control. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Dante loved him though. So he had just come off of a uh, Dream a Little Dream. If you ever saw that movie, apparently. Looking he like had Michael Jackson. That's true. Look, look at Bruce Stern. My goodness. He's so awesome. <laughs> Apparently, Corey Feldman uh, had quite the entourage on the set, including uh, porn stars. Oh, that's not, that's not <laughs> the worst one. You know, do you know who used to frequent the set and see him all the time? No. Bubbles the Chimp. Oh, Michael boy. Jackson's chimp. And and Joe Dante made oh, him keep him in the trailer. And Corey Feldman would come off of shooting and his trailer would be full of, of chimp feces. <laughs> and it got to the it got so bad to the point John Dante banned bubbles from the from the set. 
How weird is that? That Bubbles would come visit him and just hang out in his trailer while he's shooting his students. (laughs) Look at him limping with the poop (laughs) on his shoe. What? (laughs) Now, did you know the subplot that they cut from the movie that was in this? Yeah, he just got fired or something. Yeah, he'd gotten fired. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, he was keeping it a secret. And Bruce Dern is such a <laughs> he's such a lunatic in this. <laughs> Where's she from? Is she from Bill and Ted? No, no, she's she's in a bunch of Joe Dante movies. Yeah, Joe Dante has his cast he's, he likes. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she really hasn't done a whole lot outside of that. This is it, but it's funny to see Tom Hanks this young. It reminds me of him in like Splash and yeah, and the Money Pit. Yeah, this you know I think this and like you know You're Big right. was a comedy, but do you see that on the cabinet counter there? What was it? Gremlin, Gremlin cereal. cereal. Oh, Gremlin there it is. Cereal. <laughs> Dante said Carrie Fisher was great because there was a writer strike when they shot this. Like, and she's a writer, and she was great at about. <clears throat> Uh, improvising and mm. she also that she was the straight man because everyone in the t- neighborhood was losing their mind that she was like the one who was grounded That kid looks familiar. Uh, he didn't really go on to do anything. I'm going to look him up. The, um, the Shout Factory Blu-ray of this is really good. Cool. Yeah, I watched the uh, work print last night. Not really that big of a difference. Well, it kind of rings more true in middle age watching this movie and hearing it. Yes. And you just want to relax and not go do anything. <laughs> did you hear that sound effect when he did that? Yeah. Is that a swatch? It She's looks, looks like, like it. Yeah. Vince. <laughs> now, I remember the only thing, other thing I really remember him from in is, uh, I mean, I know he's been in other stuff, but it's Die Hard right yep yep apparently him and tom hanks didn't really get along that great yeah yeah they they weren't friendly you know what a what a neighbor from hell this guy would be this guy he recently passed away i think i mean legit if this was your neighbor no and everybody has people they know like this i mean the guy that you just you try to cross the road when you see him or act like you don't see him <clears throat> who fires a like a 22 in their <laughs> neighborhood <laughs> she's just feeding him pancakes and sausage and a guy is gonna have major indigestion indigestion <laughs> all this food he eats He's like, why didn't you go with her? <laughs> he sounds a lot like John Favreau. A little bit. He does. Oh. It's eating dog food. <laughs> I notice how they don't telegraph that joke. If you're not paying attention, you won't catch it. That's like what's so great about Dante. He's very subtle. It's a collector's item, that bottle of Anchamama syrup now. <laughs> He's such a jerk. <laughs> a hideous, raging inferno. Look what he's got a pineapple syrup. i mean what what's <laughs> what's he doing he's got his calorie intake for the whole week <laughs> i 
Look at the ribs. What's he got ribs in there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, whenever I see somebody eat on camera, I think of how many takes they had to do. And how many eat. how many ribs he had to eat. I love Tom Hanks here. <laughs> I mean, as a parent, you can relate to that. All, All right. right. Come on. Time to put the brakes on this. <laughs> it's gone far enough. <laughs> Carrie Fisher's just, uh, she just gets the sense she's just used to it. Like, oh, okay. He's over here eating my food as usual. Yeah. Now I want Bruce Dern as my neighbor. <laughs> Look at this. this is the kind of neighbor I want. Apparently, most of his lines were ad libbed. <laughs> is he still alive? Or yeah, he's still alive. He was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He's yeah. He was just in something else recently too. He's also in the famous Silent Runnings, which I've never seen, but I need to. <laughs> Wait. It's a meatball. It's a meatball. <laughs> now I love this pose that Tom Hanks has because it's so classic. I mean, how many times have we done that? We're just hanging on something. <laughs> <laughs> he came out in his robe when the foreigners were making all that racket. <laughs> you gonna build something with those? He didn't even look at him. <laughs> oh, those are beauties. <laughs> Electric garage door openers. Man. I love the way he's like, yeah. right, right, get over here. <laughs> the whole neighborhood looks at him. How perfectly cast is this guy? It's <laughs> such a it's creepy neighbor. looking ginger. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about his character, Bruce Stern, is he's one of those people that says everything too loud. Yes. And you're always like cringing, like, oh God, why did you say that? <laughs> it's a great shot. With the uh, organ music. Yep. And he's just, everyone's looking like the whole thing. He's also like. <laughs> oh, man, that is a back lot set if I've ever seen one. <laughs> they had to close it off. It was actually a through street in the back lot. They had to make it a cul de sac for the movie. Uh. Go. Look at him just stand there. <laughs> we're, we're in the same town. <clears throat> <laughs> He's busy.
<laughs> the music. How bad was this house before they moved in? Like, what was going on in this neighborhood? Yeah, this, this is actually not Goldsmith. <clears throat> was this? Um... They bought it because the was Goldsmith this... couldn't quite nail it. I can't remember what it's originally from. It's obviously it, from a spaghetti is it western. Maury yeah, County. I was, was going to say I'm definitely sure. got a Clint Eastwood in it. I'm not sure. Like ridiculous shot of dog. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Just booby trapped. <laughs> we should sue them. <laughs> six, six, six. Oh, the bees. I forgot about the bees. Oh, man. That's like my house. Oh, man. <laughs> the bay window nightmare. Oh, yeah. The bay window's gone, isn't it? No. No, no we still Is have the bees still there? No, they're long gone. God. Oh, that, that was like us with the hose, Matt. We got to talk about that <laughs> in the next episode. We'll, we'll, okay. Next episode, we'll talk about... We'll do a little random access memory. We'll talk about Jared and the bee episode. Jared and the bees. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're subconsciously channeling the burbs <laughs> we could have been this is actually no better than what, what happened to us <laughs> what were we throwing under there before bug bombs <laughs> <laughs> worked real well Some patent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, it does. It looks like the Adams family lives next door to him. I mean, if they just moved in, I'd be blaming the family before them. I'm like, what the well, hell? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? What year did Lost Boys come out? Like 87? Just before this, right? Yeah. Corey will tell you all about the great sequels in every interview that he does yeah. these days. <laughs> oh, man, Corey's. Hold on, let me set up my Lost Boys swag. Yeah. <laughs> I remember for the special features of this Blu-ray, he was sitting in his living room and he made sure to put all the, the Lost Boys sequel Blu-rays up behind him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes. 
actually sat through that movie. You know, and what's interesting is, you know, things like YouTube and TikTok, you start to see a lot of these like Corey Feldman, like, like Los Angeles music scene that he like has been a part of. And it's so weird. Yeah. He's so totally weird. bizarre. <laughs> But you saw the thing when he was on the Today Show with those models. Yeah, he's yes. been doing that routine for like years in LA. He still does that. He still does it, and he, he's weird. been doing it. It's just so weird. But he, he takes it serious. It's a total nut. Oh. Great music. <laughs> This reminds me of the scene in Gremlins when she's Phoebe Cates is talking about Christmas. It's such a good scene, isn't it? With her dad. <clears throat> Scenes like that which make Gremlins such a great movie. Love Gremlins. The producers try to get him to cut that out. Did they really? Yeah. Man, that was some of the heart of the movie. Spielberg asked Dante, says, do you want to keep it in? And Dante said, yeah. And Spielberg said, okay, we'll keep it in. It's a great part of the movie. Yeah, you're right. It is a lot like it, isn't it? Tell you what, Joe Dante is a great person to listen to on for interviews. He just really is very engaging when he talks about his experience. Uh, does he have a podcast? Joe Dante? Yeah. I don't well, know. We have technically the only podcast. Oh so yeah, he that he uh, has he has an audio may... tape recording that he put out. <laughs> you might have had one back in the 21st century. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he does have a podcast. called the movies that made me is this when the garbage scene happens the garbage scene yeah no This was a an improv from Car with Carrie Fisher and uh, Tom Hanks because they couldn't get. This is a day they had no rights on the. They had no script. No oh, rights. so they just. So Carrie Fisher came up with the idea. So what if we just talk about Jeopardy on the TV and they just, that's how they reacted. That's how they shot their scene that day. Well, it's interesting. The work print is a different scene with them in the house. <laughs> Carrie Fisher's typing on a little laptop, and uh, she doesn't see Art when he comes to the window. This might be the most normal movie I've ever seen him in. <laughs> Corey Feldman. Where he's like the most normal. Yeah. He's pretty normal in Gremlins. Just a normal kid. What is he wearing? I, he's dressing he's like, wearing, a, uh, like an old man about to go it's... golfing. I know. Like... I thought he's dressed like that old man uh, from the beginning of the movie. Ah, he is. Yeah, like in the work print, Tom Hanks knew he was coming over. That's just a little bit of a different dynamic. <laughs> See the fat guy? Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, look at that thing. It's <laughs> got his car camoed. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> So that in case somebody does a bombing run. <laughs> the 80s lightning effect. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. That's a Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I was going to say, that is. That's the Falcon breaking down. <laughs> that girl probably caught syphilis just <laughs> being there next to Feldman. <laughs> what? I've, I've, I've never seen anybody drive their garbage out like that. Hit it with a stick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The Klopeks have an electric garage door opener. You do. <laughs> Cutting edge. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no headlights. <laughs> This actor asked Joe Dante how he wanted him to put the garbage in. He said, I don't know, just have fun with it. <laughs> this, this is the take they kept. Obviously. He got really into it. <laughs> Look at this guy. God, what a casting. <laughs> I always, for some reason, whenever I see him, I always remember he was in Memphis Bell. He was? That was yeah. the guy from Memphis Bell? Yeah. No. Oh, my God. You're Are right. those fake teeth? I can't believe that's the guy from Memphis Bell. It's on his head. It's a, from a bee sting. Oh, that's right. That's the band aid. <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh, let's do it in the middle of the day. Sipping up his jacket. Oh, no. They're on to him. 
Oh, the little explosion, expulsion of gas. Oh, I love this. It's so great. <laughs> this music. This scene really makes me sick, actually. It's like a hard for me to watch this scene. Why is that? Another Joe Dante uh, regular? Yep, no. both of them. Yeah. Dick Miller and Robert Picardo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Studies have shown that Borg implants can be cause skin irritation <laughs> yes <laughs> perhaps you'd like an analgesic cream <laughs> the best scene in that movie <laughs> when he's sitting in the back of that dumpster it makes me sick i can't almost not even watch it what for real yeah but the dumpsters garbage <laughs> trucks are disgusting well this is a movie garbage I truck. mean, have you ever been behind <laughs> one and you can just see the juices yeah dripping out in the back I, I was behind one once that you know had the dumpster attached to it and underneath it um there were like four or five rats <laughs> running around are you kidding me no running around un underneath the truck between yeah it was pretty heinous <laughs> <laughs> See, getting in the garbage That's truck, that, that might be gross, <laughs> but garbage trucks as a kid always terrified me because I'm like, they crush things. Like, if you're in there, like, you're not getting out. I mean, that is disgusting. He's right by the crusher, too. I wouldn't want to sit uh, there. He, yeah, he's sitting on the compactor. And I don't want to be. I would never, ever do that. He's sitting in garbage juice. Look at all That's these guys getting in. <laughs> Look at Bruce Dern. Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> That's so strange that that bothers you so much. I mean, it makes it does. I mean, you I have you a hard watch time you at. watch like the the disgusting fake gore all the time, but you can't take a garbage truck. Ah, it's gross. It's so gross. See, <laughs> God. Puts the lotion on his skin when it's told. <laughs> Did you know one of the alternate endings was uh, the trash men were in the back of the car? Yes. Yes, I did get that they from the Blu-ray. They shot that. <laughs> and with cheerleaders. Yes. <laughs> and in the original script, Tom Hanks' character died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Dick Miller. He's half shaven. Movies. Dick Dick Miller. He's so good. He's in a bunch of Corman movies too. You know your guns, pal. He was in Terminator. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 12 gauge hey, auto loader. Yeah. Only what just you see what, here, guy. Just what you see, pal. Now, this whole scene inside the house was not in the work print. <laughs> now, there's a on the TV, the actor, I can't remember his name. He was on the Lucille Ball show. Yes. And there's a picture of him with Lucille Ball on the TV right there.
Dante said that won him over with the actor when he put that on there. <laughs> Oh, I see Lucy right yeah. there. Hey, look at his pants. My gosh. He dresses like an old retired golfer. Uh, yeah, he, he does. Uh, from the 1960s. <laughs> it's going to end up in a flea market. <laughs> <laughs> He's not worried about his wife. He's like, <laughs> I'm starving. What a what a turd! He's always going to people. <laughs> He's going through, through the refrigerators. Look at that dog just sitting there. That's a yeah, that's well trained. Dog. <laughs> i think we've broken enough laws it's like a very one... goonies ass kind of like scene where like with the statue <clears throat> i really like the the setup for this what this does for later mm -hmm. You know, and he's like, he saw me yeah. write a note. Man, he's got those, <laughs> he's got those, those 1980s dad shorts on. <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. They said <laughs> that actor, uh, brother, what's his name? His, 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 yeah, it's a strange. His name's Brother Something. Brother, uh, if only there's some way to look it up. Uh, um, there's not. He was like hard of hearing, so he was missing cues all <laughs> yes. the time. And he was always time, yelling. And one time Carrie Fisher was, they had to yell cut because Carrie Fisher was screaming at him because he wasn't <laughs> reacting. Yeah, she I mean, definitely, definitely has a swatch. Swatch, yeah. yep. <laughs> the theory and practice of demonology brother theodore that's it <laughs> he was in a concentration camp Ugh. brother theodore was yeah he was a jew in nazi germany he was in a concentration camp there's a Star Wars lunchbox on that shelf back there. Let's oh, see if we can find it. His head on the on the light. It's right yeah. there. You can't see it's dark, but it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in the theater. Wait, 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 fun, you're man. chanting. You're, you're so chanting. Hard. This is unreal. <laughs> Satan is a pal. <laughs> they have that on a shirt. I would have gotten that shirt. But I know like only 1% of the population would have gotten it. Satan is good. Satan would have is had a pal. Like people with goth makeup going, hell Satan, brother. <laughs> Satan is no, good. It's, it's from the burbs. It's not... <laughs> I love her reaction to all this. It's nice. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> it's <laughs> one of the one of series. The one. It's one of them. It's a shame she didn't really get money. You know, goals. That's I, odd. I remember seeing her after the Star Wars movies. And whenever she... nudity, they blurred out. Yeah, they blur this out. 
they do that in Gremlins too as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. It's pretty graphic, actually. <laughs> I know for for a PG movie. <laughs> Talk about the dog's reaction. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre Two. That's a good movie. That's an awesome movie. <laughs> the dog. Sure, it's a little homage to Toby Hooper. But I, I used to think it was always kind of a big deal to see Carrie Fisher in anything but a Star Wars movie. Well, do, you, do you ever see the Drop Dead Fred? Yeah. I thought it was funny. And she's in that. She's not quite as big as role as, as she has in this one. But. She was in uh, she was in Austin Powers also. Yeah, she was the, psych- was she? the psychotherapist. Oh, that's right. She yeah. was the... That- I mean, you saw Harrison Ford in everything. Chest that's of being lazy. <laughs> he invented the question mark. Now we all say we want to kill. No. He's no. Right. No. He's right. I want to kill him. <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? <laughs> you don't. Yeah, it's such a good movie, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it cuts the picture. His kid's got his eyes closed in the picture. What was that fall? (laughs) This is a bit extended in the work print as well. uh, You know, Joe Dante is better than this. But is he such a genius that he went to this lower level of filmmaking at this time? Because well, he had already done some much more like elaborate things than this. This is very like, it's super really? cheesy. I, and, I, to me, this is like his bread and butter. I mean, this is what he's built for. Oh my God, it's the guy from Memphis <laughs> Bell. I can't believe it's the guy from Memphis Bell. I've seen this. I never put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta be it's gotta be like the teeth i love the axe in the axe dog's in head. His head i, I the, never the, saw that the miniature axe <laughs> i love this he does one of my favorite things when they do stuff like this i'll, sh- I'll point it out It's me. It's it's art. I'm just pretending to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a great transition. You know, Dante looks like he just almost exclusively does TV now. Really? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, his movies aren't always a big success. So, yeah. And that is a true 80s bedroom, isn't it? I know that. Uh, that's kind of what my folks' bedroom I was going to say, like. I, think, I think that's how my parents' bedroom was, too. <laughs> I think anybody who puts wallpaper up is clinically insane. Yeah, and I had to take wallpaper down to my one of my last houses. Oh yeah, year. I remember that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love. That. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Dern is so good. I what a great this. cast. We don't. We don't have that kind of time. <laughs> <laughs> look at him standing there <laughs> he kicks the ground oh man oh, i love this scene when he wakes him up 
It's so funny. <laughs> the bees. He's stricken. Strohs. Strohs. Wow. They're like 12 years old. <laughs> Doing a ding and dash on I the know, Topex. man. <laughs> We flushed him out. Other hand. I love this. This is classic Tom Hanks right here. <laughs> he just have the best flip outs doesn't he <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at the dog It's <laughs> I know Tom Hanks talked about this one in his memoir book. I'd love to see what he said about it. He did talk about it. Yeah, all the movies that he was in, he little blurbs about it. <laughs> it's litter. The it's a, he's a litter bug. <clears throat> oh, it's my note. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sets themselves on fire. That's the funny thing is you can actually imagine one of them setting themselves on fire. Yeah.
<laughs> He's so great. The trash is still there on the road. It is. They did they never picked <laughs> it up. That. <laughs> That's fantastic. The brownies. <laughs> He's holding it. Uh. Look at Dern's face. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, this is the best when he falls. Who is this? got crap all over the brownies. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> That's the best. That's my favorite. That look. Oh, so good. Looks like the house from Fright Night. A weird statue. He's looking, he looks he's looking terrified. Really good. <laughs> Rube. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he's dressed on black in the middle of the day. I know. What, with his face painted? <laughs> <laughs> oh man Look at Bruce Durr back there is picking around <laughs> I always love this <laughs> this is such a great scene Wallpaper up. <laughs> what? He's tr- <laughs> Hanks just Oh man, the sardines. I had those tables when I was a little kid. Sardine. And the sound effect is the best. <laughs> when Hank Tom Hanks hey. has to eat it. <laughs> well, look at Carrie Fisher. Watch it. Yeah, go on. You, you should do this. The sound effects are the best. He puts it on a pretzel. Hey, listen. I know. <laughs> The pretzel is weird, isn't it? (laughs) 
I'm sure he ate that. I oh, mean, for sure. No. <laughs> A nine on the tension scale, Rube. What is he <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> Throwing shade on Carrie Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a strange guy this guy was it brother theodore yeah yeah ask him yourself <clears throat> another joe dante uh yeah carry this guy was uh in inner space i love inner space yeah that's another good one i think the blonde lady was in inner space too she was yeah Oh, she was the cashier, wasn't she? Yep. Yeah, that's right. God, I haven't seen right. her space since I was a kid. That's one I need to revisit. This, this actor apparently had doubts that he could play a bad guy like this. And Joe Dante said, was just because of your performance in inner space, I want you to basically do that. Except I'm going to make you bad. <laughs> Look at Bruce Stern. Even he's kind of rattled. I love he finds this calm what? and then keeps it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what, he found a comb? Yeah, yeah. he found a comb. He yeah. <laughs> this is so You know, it's, it's cool about this movie and what Joe Dante does is like that sound effect. There's no real explanation for that sound effect. He just puts it in there mm -hmm. just because it works. Oh, the candles. I love the sound of those things. <laughs> like how the candles. Oh, the it's tape. just like, yeah, the, the sound hear, of 
the flames. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great reveal too. <laughs> Sugar substitute. Sugar, Sugar substitute. substitute. Uh, Tom Hanks put Bruce his Bruce can't figure this one out. He's like, no, nope, this way. He's just like beaten. he's just he's just holding his cup. It's like he's done. <laughs> I'd like to know the origin of that painting. Was it like a real painting someone did, or did they do it for the movie? I'm sure that was I, I, that was probably a, just made probably a prop. <laughs> the Tom uh, Hanks his, his outburst sorry sorry ow Hair clopec. Is that what he said? Air clopec? He said hair. <laughs> God. <laughs> you keep a horse. <laughs> <laughs> A fat one. Landru. Landru. <laughs> Are you of the body? That's from Star Trek. Landru has spoken. Landru was apparently like a uh, either an Austrian or I think an Austrian serial killer. That they named the dog after in this. <laughs> it is funny though to watch this movie now after i'm grown i've got i've owned homes i've lived in neighborhoods now i have, uh -huh. I have kids just to watch it from that perspective versus watching this as a kid it's people are, this is how neighborhoods kind of are yeah yeah there's Certainly. It's, he's in his underwear. Yeah, why would he have to take his clothes off? Nice computer, man. Apple IIe. Look at that. 
Had that in your trousers all day. Nobody knocks off an old man in my neighborhood. <laughs> it's great lighting. I know, underlit. trash it's still there <laughs> you know it's i don't know why i never noticed the trash before but it's no, very it's, funny how it just hangs it's out. just continuous <laughs> man that dog is gigantic i know great dane <clears throat> the monsters big horns sound like howard shore there for a second <laughs> 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 what? Clopex are jerks. Yeah, man, That's they did an aggressive move right there. It was totally. Rudy is a moron. <laughs> Old Jeep. Yep. ORV. Look at his clothes. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> once again, this is the essence of art. He's overselling it, of course. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> they didn't even wait for her to drive off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The paint is still on the side of the speaker. Good continuity touch. What's Bruce Darren doing over there? (laughs) (laughs) A bit akin to his role in Die Hard. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Do you think art does art work for the power company? Uh, no, there's no way he <laughs> not after this move. <laughs> he has no idea. 
very high. <laughs> he just looks at his get up. He's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, akin to his Looney Tunes uh, love, by the way. Yeah. Callie's fingernails are black. Yeah. Dick jolt. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling salts. <laughs> now he just looks, these days, it's just the cashier at Woggles. Yeah. <laughs> No, What? I love this. The Looney Tunes <laughs> outline of him. It was that raised shack that he fell through. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, they're on they're on Ray's side. Okay. old home antennas oh yeah <laughs> what why <laughs> wow, that's so <clears throat> now i just want to say as someone who has done some digging myself in my yard that that did not happen in one day what all those holes yes he (laughs) he would be praying for death if he looks like you're that's like digging in your old florida yard yeah that's true (laughs) or that's what your dogs did to your yard when i dug and flattened the area out to put a pool in my house i lived on a hill i dug a area out for the pool to flatten it out and it's the hardest work I've ever done in my entire life. Digging is no joke. <clears throat> they probably got some cold beer in there. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Like burnt to a crisp. I know. (laughs) I love I love when he does this. There's like there's no reason this would work right here. (laughs) Or the deadbolt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there's no reason that would (laughs) (laughs) that's a shit store. (laughs) now while we're watching this i'm gonna get your guys opinion on something but i gotta get the actor's name first oh my gosh Mm mm-hmm man That's a trained rat. Look at this guy. (laughs) 
<laughs> what a group. <laughs> animal, animal crackers. crackers. <laughs> With a picnic basket behind them. Oh, man. Look at that demon head. Yes. <clears throat> Mm. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oh man <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> this is a great fall. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 that guy on the left look at that guy on the left get him with the tie dye and suspenders okay yeah you know who he looks like oh, i who? swear uwen bremner he's a actor <laughs> he's been in a bunch of stuff look him up you'll know if you see him he was in train spotting here i'll send a picture of him to you is he in the cast? Is it him? No, he's not listed, but I swear to God. I mean, I swear it looks like him. Keep it going. I'm going to be uh, right back. Anyway, I swear it looks like that actor. <clears throat> and I've seen people on the web comment on it too, but he's not listed in the credits, but it does definitely look like a younger version of him. So if anybody watching knows, let us know, because I'd really like to know. An old Oldsmobile. Oh God, what a Man. mess. I mean, who would dig down? I mean, besides yeah, look us. Look at this giant hole they made in the basement. <clears throat> in a crypt. Rube. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the old Taurus wagons. Oh, it's right over the garbage. <laughs> Why did he stop at the money <laughs> just to run up to him? <laughs> I 
<laughs> he's like please don't be true instead of being glad that he's alive <laughs> that's disgusting worse than the garbage truck no nothing will ever top that okay so now we know that garbage trucks really disturb mike <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> doesn't help him out now <laughs> this is a pretty spectacular explosion right there in the middle that the yeah, I know he, he looks like him yes I, I agree I know you're you talking about I don't think it's him though but it looks just like him did now did it blow a hole in his window? Yeah. I love this. Look at her hair, man. Oh, it's man. Like huge there. <laughs> and the car is destroyed. <laughs> that cop looks familiar. Hey, Hans. He's got his hat on. I love the way he comes walking out. He's on smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Man, thank God this movie was made before Big. Because there's no way the... Tom Hanks would have signed up for this movie after big success. There's no way. Well, he did do <clears throat> Joe versus the volcano. That's a good point. Big. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a weird move. Joe versus um, the volcano. I've never seen that. I saw it in theaters. I really hated it. <laughs> Look at the hair <laughs> missing on his side. He's like scalped. <laughs> You got a lawsuit on your hands. Where's the sun? This must have been one of the first Grand Cherokees that came out. Yeah, that's, where not is, like, that's not a regular Cherokee. Where is the sun? Maybe it's it's at night. He couldn't shoot at night. Or he's... <clears throat> Well, so maybe he's asleep maybe. in the car. Or he stayed with the cousins he loves so much. Yeah. Right there. Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> What the, the who was the guy in the tuxedo? I know, yeah, that's Ron Howard's dad. Oh, yeah, Rance. <clears throat> Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look. It is an imagined production. It's about Clinton that make an appearance. Oh, I know. He could have been one of the Klopex easy. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> Art, man, he just doesn't. Tom Hanks freak outs. Oh, he's biting down on the finger. This is an improv on Tom Hanks' part right here with the with the uh, gurney. It's a great moment. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> He's so. But you know what's great about that? It's real Nat sound. It's not ADR or anything. It's yeah. Just, it's all good stuff. <laughs> yeah, because he's just like, oh, yeah. hip cats. All right, hip cats. <laughs> all right, hip cats. <laughs> When I get a prison. Figured a man's furnace is his own business. Hans? Yeah, so this was like 
w- initially where they were going to end it at one point, like Tom Hanks got taken away by them. Yeah, they just Ooh. drove off with them. What was Hans thinking? What were they going to do? <laughs> well, <laughs> with Hans tearing in donuts in the, I know. the neighborhood. Yeah, the original ending they did shoot had none of this action in it. Yeah. They just drove off with him. That was it? No, they didn't. Sh- they changed the ending once they ca- cast Tom God. Hanks. <laughs> but the original ending, they basically, they the, the neighbors walk up to the ambulance and open the doors and catch the doctor and Tom Hanks. And then the doctor pretty much just admits what they did. And that's pretty much the end of the movie. Like, none of this was in it. <laughs> Citizen's arrest. <laughs> a great place to keep your bones yeah the trunk clopic clopic that's another great line oh this is the best <laughs> watch this watch this trip in the mud on the wet grass <laughs> <laughs> so great. Nine months in the bush, boy. Oh. <laughs> hey, Pinocchio, where are you going? <laughs> this guy. from him Fair to say this is the last of the great Tom Hanks comedy run. After this, it yeah. got a little more serious. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Well, I thought but... uh, Saving Private Ryan was hilarious. <laughs> it had its slapstick moments. So... Yeah. Uh, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. And, zoom and now, yeah. zooming zoom out. So that's bereft of atmosphere. No atmosphere and then we here. We see the uh, the Earth flood. Oh, oh, here we go. We've got the the definitely a staple of the eighties. The the picture credits. The the picture credits. Some taken from scenes from the film. Some posed. Well, hold on. So far, they're all from this movie. That is that one. That might might have been an outtake. Henry Gibson. Brother Theodore. Brother Theodore. 
That's a what great. Name. That's a outtake. Yeah, Courtney Gaines. Courtney Gaines. This sounds a lot like some, uh, <clears throat> Gremlins. Yeah, yes, it does very much. Goldsmith. Dun, dun, uh, dun, dun, wow. So that's dun, dun. well, guys. Uh, dun, 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 dun. That was fantastic. I haven't seen the Burbs in a long time. That's yeah. Happy Halloween from the hyperspace. The Burbs is funny. And if for some reason you listen to this without having seen it, I I don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> maybe you should go watch the Burbs without us talking through it. You might enjoy it more. You know, this has that, I mean, this is a great nostalgia trip for me with the Burbs. I remember, you know, I've watched this a lot growing up, but, you know, more, more so the Tom Hanks comedies, you know, when we were kids, you know, they were always being replayed on like, you know, TBS or whatnot. And, you know, there was always something funny by Tom Hanks on Splash. Yeah, like The Man with One Red Shoe. Uh, he did what? A whole bunch I, of them. I liked, um, I liked Dragnet with Dan Aykroyd. Dragnet, yeah. Uh, you know what? That never one, that one never landed with me. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. He wasn't, he was funny. I didn't like Dan Aykroyd in that one. But, uh, but you know, Tom Hanks was, like you said at the beginning of this, he was known when I was a kid as a, like a comedic actor. It wasn't until later that yeah. he became a serious, you know, very uh, renowned he was yeah i mean he wasn't um i mean he was he was pretty famous but um but just for you know like we said the comedies and stuff it wasn't Mm -hmm. until until later that uh i mean he became known for his dramatic stuff but but yeah the burbs i mean is a great example of kind of what what his comedy was like yeah very very well timed very um sometimes very subtle but very funny very funny stuff well we so. hope we enjoyed the burbs and uh i hope you watched it along with us yes and uh and guys season five is rolling rolling through here we uh Absolutely. we've got some amazing stuff coming up uh every monday for you you know this is sunday when you're listening to this hopefully you're listening to it on halloween as you should awesome. Make sure you go to Fright Rags and get your burp shirt. Oh, oh look, at, look at there. That's good. There's another. Yeah, we talked about the shirts. Um, hey, look, uh, ILM did the effects. How about that? Did they? What yeah. They, what lightning effect? The, the, they did the, it said opening title sequence by Industrial Light and Magic. Oh, well. So, okay. Well, well done. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't know they had a Jet Boy song on here. Yes, performed by Jet Boy. <laughs> Color by Deluxe. But um, so yeah, guys. Uh please. The certificate um, number of this movie is 29589. There you go. If I you forgot, ever I forgot that. Oh, this is 89. I thought it was 88. 89, yeah. Oh, shoot. But anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh check out our other shows. We got a lot of great shows over in the past season. We got a lot of great stuff coming up. We have I hate to say, I, I didn't want to like jinx ourselves, but we're going to be doing this season live. Hopefully <laughs> we're going to try to do it no, live. We're committed. Now you're we're, committed to it now. No, 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 it's gonna no. It's going to be no. live. It's going to be gonna, live. We're, we're, we're going to try to figure out how to do it live and do it well. And we're, Jared and I are going to take the one chip challenge. And we're going to do it live here while Mike tries to give us some trivia as we uh, suffer through it. So it should be pretty fun. And Mike already did it. He was our, he the guinea pig of the podcast. So uh, it's just Jordan in my turn to uh, Man. step up and take the heat. Yeah. yeah. We'll keep we'll you updated, though, on we'll when we're going to do that. Uh, we're not going to tell you when, but it's going to be soon. So you got to listen. You got to find out when. And yeah, if you I'm haven't sure. subscribed have to, to the podcast, the uh, he'll work up the nerve. If you haven't subscribed to the podcast, subscribe now. Check out our social media. Check out our Facebook. Check out our Instagram. And our YouTube channels, you're going to get a lot of great information about that stuff. And you're going to find out when we're going to do it. And you're going to laugh at us because we're going to probably be like suffering and not take a without life. Without a doubt. So, yeah. but, uh, but thanks for listening to the Burbs and happy Halloween. I hope everyone's had a great holiday and season five rolls on. We'll catch you next Monday. You know you can't live without this content. So subscribe to the Hyperspace, podcasting in the 25th century. Follow us on social media, leave us a review, and join us next time as we take you into the 25th century.